Hello, I'm Sarah Ditchfield, the founder of Candle by Events, the candle making experience company. Today I'm going to show you what you get in your roll beeswax kit. So the kit comes in a small box which will fit through your letterbox. And inside the kit you receive step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the candles, a template sheet which I'll explain a bit more about later, beeswax sheets, you get four different coloured triangular sheets, the colours may vary in your kit, three rectangles and some off cuts for decorating. You also receive five wicks plus a cutter for flowers and a cocktail stick and all will be revealed in a minute what you do with these two items. So the first candle we're going to make is a straight candle. So you take one of your beeswax sheets and you have a choice of three different colours for these straight candles and you're going to place the wick about half a centimetre along the edge. You're then going to roll over initially, it's more of a roll than a fold, to cover the wick like so and you're going to continue all the way to the end of the sheet, trapping the wick. Okay, you're then going to repeat this action and you'll see as, as you get going it becomes more of a roll than a fold. So you're going to keep rolling, trying to keep it as tight as possible and keep this edge as straight as possible and keep rolling all the way to the end and you end up with a straight candle. So you have three rectangles to make these candles. The colours may vary in your kit but they will be three different colours. The second candle we're going to make is a taper candle and you may, can make two of these from the kit. You have four different coloured triangles in four different colours. So you can choose whichever combination you like and again the colours might vary in your kit to the colours I'm using here today. So you take two of your coloured triangles and you place one triangle on top of the other. Now when you finish this candle, the colour you will see more of is the colour on the bottom. So for this candle you will see slightly more orange than you will red. So I'm going to place one sheet on top of the other, like so, and then place my wick, as before, about half a centimetre along the edge. You're then going to, again it's more of a fold than a roll, capture the wick with both the sheets. So both sheets are being folded over, rolled over, and again you go all the way to the edge. Make sure the sheets are room temperature because they roll a lot more easily. If they're cold they can be a bit brittle. And then you're going to repeat the action as before, keeping it as tight as possible, and you're going to keep rolling, keeping this edge as straight as possible. You're going to keep rolling keep rolling, keep rolling all the way oops, to the end like so. And there you have a taper candle. So in the kit you also receive some different shape decorations for you to use to cut out to decorate your candles. So the first job is to find the pair of scissors which we do not supply in the kit, so you need to find a pair of scissors and cut out the shapes. So I'm going to cut out here the heart shape. This could be a little bit tricky, so an adult might need to help you if you're a, a child making these. It's literally going to cut the heart shape all the way around like that. So now I have a heart shape template. 
I'm then going to choose one of the um, off cuts and I'm going to choose purple. You have all the different colours in the kit and you're going to place your heart onto the wax sheet and then holding it with your thumb you're going to cut around the heart. So, all the way around there. This is slightly fiddly. You can go freehand if you uh, are good at cutting hat shapes freehand. But if you want a little bit of a shape, this is to give you some guidance. So there we are. And now we have a, a heart. You then take one of your finished rolled candles and you literally take your sh heart shape, press it down onto the candle to decorate it and then you can space out other hearts all the way down the edge like so and there you have decorated your first candle. There are other shapes on the template to choose from, from butterflies, flowers, stars and moons. So a few for you to choose from, or as I said, you can go freehand and cut out your own shapes. Here is an example of one of the candles I've made freehand, and I cut out shapes with scissors to make some candles on a candle. You can also use sugar craft cutters like this, if you have any in the kitchen cupboard, and press these down to cut out various shapes. So the next candle I'm going to show you how to decorate is uh, a rainbow candle. So with one of your wax off cuts, you need to cut a long strip, about half a centimetre wide. Then get your candle and you press the strip onto the candle all the way to the end. Repeat the process with all the different colours and you eventually end up with a rainbow candle. So with this candle I'm going to make it look like a Christmas tree. So with the shape template I've cut out a star to go on the top of my tree and then I take a little off cut of beeswax and I roll it up into a tiny ball and then stick it onto the candle so it looks a bit like a bauble. So you can repeat with different colours and place them, dot them around the candle so they look like baubles on a Christmas tree or Christmas lights. Christmas tree candle. So the last candle I'm going to show you how to decorate you need the shape cutter that's supplied in the kit, cocktail stick, two different sheets, colour different sheets plus a pair of scissors. So the first job I'm going to take the shape cutter and I'm going to press down, actually I can start with the red, onto my flower template like so. I'm going to press down then flip it round and then just peel off the excess wax sheets around the edge. So you now just have a fluted edge. Now this can be a little bit fiddly so with a cocktail stick you just need to go into one end and stick it in to prise piece of wax out. Sometimes you get a little tear but don't worry because we're going to make some little incisions in a minute. So repeat that with three or four of the red and then the same process but with a contrasting colour so you end up with different colour. The next job you're going to do is with your scissors you're going to make six incisions if you look at the instructions, I've actually drawn a photo, uh, a diagram to show you where the incisions are. But 
basically you're going to make six incisions around the edge of the flower. You're then going to get your contrasting colour and you're going to place one circle on top of the other like so and then you're going to lift up or turn it flowers so you basically lift them up so they look a bit like petals and then press down I don't want to stick today of course press down so you have a fluted flower then with a contrasting colour the orange like the Christmas tree you're going to roll this up into a little ball like so and then you grab your hand, flower your candle and then press down and it creates oops I'm gonna stick today a rather pretty 3d flower and you can repeat this the rest of the uh, candle and dot it around and here you have the finished candles so we have the Christmas tree the taper candle with the 3d flowers the freehand candle on a candle candle a rainbow candle and a heart candle if you use um, Instagram or Facebook, do send us pictures of your finished candles and you can use the hashtag handmade rolled beeswax candle. Details are on the instructions inside the kit. I hope you enjoy making the candles in the kit and being creative and making different decorations for the candles. If you'd like to find out more about our other candle making kits, do have a look at our website. We offer, also offer a kit where you actually get to melt wax and make pillar candles and container candles. And we offer that with 20 online videos and an opportunity to take part in actually live candle making workshop. Full details can be found on our website, candlebyevents.co.uk.